job done. Well, there you have it, folks. Thank you very much. That would be Rick and the Green, and as we promised, we have a Canadian setter from our national women's volleyball team, Michelle Sawatsky. Uh, welcome here. We're fired up like crazy to have you on Two Sports Guys. Thanks. And you're going to play for us a little later, right? That's right. And we'll just a little tease, get her at the piano, just so you know that uh, she's going to play. Like, I've noticed with this thing here, are your, are your fingers insured? Because if you're... Piano and volleyball. You yeah, well, I've been care. asked that question a lot of times, actually, and I do not have them insured. Because our fingers but, are insured. Uh, yeah. They are, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's Because if this thing falls right now... Especially if I, What are you going to do? <laughs> what are you going to do? Do a Victor Borgie and it's all over, yeah. you know what I mean? Do you take special uh, precautions? Or? Um, I don't. I think I used to. My piano teacher in university used to always say, you know, be careful, be careful. But I think it's worse if you're careful. Because, you know, then you're always going to be too tentative and you're going to do something wrong. Um, I just go on that it, it hasn't happened yet, so knock on wood, uh, just keep doing what I'm doing. Your dream was to get, to simply, it was, it was a beautiful dream, was to get an invite to the right. national team. Fast forward to two years, <laughs> you got the invite, you've made the team, you just got selected an all-star at the Canada Cup. You must be going crazy. Yeah, well, it's um, been an eventful time for me. I think um, my dream, I think, was realistic, just to get an invite, because, you know, just my height and all of it, put together and um, and that's sort of my dream I went for that and I, I got an invite mm -hmm. and uh, you know after my fifth year and I just went with it from there and I think I just didn't necessarily make my dream to be on the team and to be a starter on the team just to sort of get an invite and then do what I could and, and then see if see if uh, he, he could cut me because you know because my dream was always to be invited to the national team tryouts. Well, and the height thing would also be a similar would concern. Also be <laughs> and I did not, and so I didn't achieve that dream. As well. And in the last two years, you know, you've won a championship, you're on the team, and, and I'm a waiter. So I think really there's, uh, we aspire mm -hmm. to different things. Could be. Well, that's true, but you also have your own TV show, see? <laughs> well, How there you go. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, no, you're welcome. So what's it like playing against, and the, the contrast was very evident when you were awarded the All-Star uh, medal or whatever they, it is that they gave you. But what is it like to stand across the net from these uh, Amazon-sized women? Like, how, how like do you, you motivate yourself? Know. Like you wouldn't know. I, but I know I know. I know my motivation. Okay. I'm wondering what hers is. Oh, God, I'm serious. You come across like your Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. No, no, no. I'm, just, I don't, I'm not playing. Uh, yeah, 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 no, 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 right. No, well, um, it's, it's amazing how little you notice it when you're on the court. You notice it when you watch them off, when you're scouting them. Once you get on, you sort of forget. And, uh, I mean, they do hit balls over me, and they do um, really concentrate on that. And then you can tell. That's in international. It becomes really evident that they know where the short person is. And, and uh, I actually, to tell you the honest truth, when I went for my all-star and stood beside number four from Ukraine, and I was about up to her waist or something, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that was actually the first time I noticed how really huge she was. And I think that's good. Because on the court, you're all moving around. You're all sort of, you know, there are times when you stand at the net, like up against each other, and then you kind of can, you know, you're, you, you know, I'm up there going, okay, number four is front row and number three is front row, like I'm going to do anything anyway, yeah. you know, but... And yet you play with so many tall girls anyway so that you're right. around that all the time. Yeah, exactly. And so I've sort of uh, just become used to being this height. And uh, it's amazing how many balls a short player can touch at the net because they'll mm -hmm. see me and they'll just try and pound it straight down and and that puts me sort of at the same height as their hits going because you know they're not trying to hit it high and deep off my hands because they'll miss right right so they try and pound it straight down and get the great hit and so you know every every so often I can touch must one be of those horrible balls. going through life being that short eh? <laughs> <laughs> must be just horrible <laughs> good can they be it'll be so. a shoe listen are you gonna stick around and play us uh, Certainly. one of your own creations Certainly, I will. When we come back, Michelle Swatsky, uh, you'll see a bit of the creative side when we come back after these uh, important things. What, uh, what are you going to uh, sing for us right now? I'm going to sing a song that I wrote. It's called Where Are You? And, uh, and again, if we end up uh, yeah, melting we, yeah. or crying, <laughs> I'm crying, then just, just go to break. You take us just to get break. Just a tight shot of her, all right? Okay. We'll be, we'll be uh, anytime you're ready. Strikes one and my thoughts. 
We're going to have to change the show to two mushy guys, I think. <laughs> wow. That was tremendous. Yeah.